Telugu has been exposed that he will not he fast not to hand over power he, in case court sacks him. We know that uh, we've been talking about a rerun and what have you. What of if there's no rerun? And what of if a uh, is being sacked? Because I remember what uh, she was saying that she was saying said that if he loses, some people are going to blame him. He's going to be this. He's going to be that. Let's even forget about that. Do you look at look at this man like somebody who is going to relinquish power to other people? Because the reason why some people never supported him, the act and the, what he did in Lagos and what he's still doing in Lagos. That is, this man is going to replicate the same thing when he becomes the Nigerian president. And when you see what he's doing, of course, like they always say, the leopard will never change his, his, his color. He will never, it will never. But I just believe that uh, those who are planning, let them continue to plan. Those who are believing and depending on the, the power, the fear that they have, they are too much, let them continue. When God is ready for you, honestly speaking, <laughs> uh, even in your own, own, own strength, that you believe that nothing will happen, that your strength will fail you. That your strength will fail you, just like what happened to Samson in the Bible. He thought that the power was still with him. He thought the power was still with him, but he failed woefully. This idea of a African leaders, because it's a rampant, everybody loves power. Human being lost power, but it is so rampant among the the black uh, 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 people. Someone will say you that say uh, hmm, uh, you cannot trust a black man. A black man with power, <laughs> forget about it. If you want to, they see what happened to uh, what is this man's name? Mugabe. He was dead, 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 dead until he was being forced out. At the end of the day, their stay there has not yielded any result or positive result to the. To the populace. I think there's another one African country, African leader. I've forgotten the, the name of the country. That he went for international program meeting. And this man was was practically incapacitated. And the same thing some people are talking about. Here, Dulu. Mm. It is in these same African countries. These African countries you see somebody who... Has been in power for 30, 40 years. Some people tell you oh, that cannot happen in Nigeria. You know what is obtainable in different countries, you know, differs from country to country. But at the end of the day, somebody can be bad in this in this way, why somebody can be bad bad in the other way. But at the end of the day, it might not they might not follow the same the same pattern. But at the end of the day, the what we are saying is that what is bad is bad. If you are an umbrella, you are you are doing evil. If you are a witch, it is the same evil. If you are obtaining things forcefully from people, it is a it is a, it's a bad thing, but people are doing it in a different way. So what is obtainable in one country might not be what is obtainable in another country, but at the end of the day, all of those things are not bringing progress to the continent, not to talk of a, the individual country. And people say, how is that possible that somebody will just be president for 30, 40 years and even in some other countries too, after they have left the power, they will just put their son. Which Nigeria are afraid of that. This is the kind of mindset that Enumbo has. You see what is happening in Lagos. And when I hear people that say he wants to come and replicate what he did in Lagos, what did he do in Lagos? Now that they are deceiving the Lagosians that say, oh, there's a, a plan for them, a policy that will favor the he, Lori Ro. What have they been waiting for? The only thing the legacy that they have given to the Lagosians is the issue of Agbiru. Agbiru. So a lot of people are really like, hey, this man, they know this stuff is made of. And those who had worked with him, some of them said they cannot even cope with him. I'm always uh, using uh, Febio Jodu as a reference point. And we have not even been hearing from him. But psycho fans who do not have self worth, they are the ones that will be chanting his name but all i believe is that if he's, he vows not to hand over of course nigeria said you know what hap what will happen now what happened to the the people who had done it before you know how, what happened to them we know exactly what happened to them especially when you are we are sitting on a faulty foundation the problem we are having in this country is the faulty foundation 
things have really gone wrong things have really gone bad and people who are enjoying it they want the status quo to continue and he wants to talk about it you know doing things in a different way they will tell you it is not possible for people to change from to to to, to do uh, good things is always difficult because people who have already who are already used to doing things in a, in a in a in a wrong manner they will not want it to stop and who are the beneficiaries just very few individuals why the majority of the nigerians are suffering here and there power 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 shoe and that's why you see that uh, these so-called elders are not being respected this uh, Nupeng man, as this a uh, Kokori, I think he was a former chairman of a uh, Nupeng, who was saying that uh, oh, and I, he, of course he specifically mentioned the uh, obedience that the uh, obedience do not know Buhari, uh, they don't know Sinumbu, that uh, they they believe that uh, all old men in Nigeria are thieves, and people said, who said they are thieves? Of course you know what it means. So you are telling us that Nigerians or the youth or whosoever part, a particular group that you are mentioning. They don't know they are left from their rights. I will not see what is happening. When you talk about embezzlement, when you talk about a stealing of, of of billions of naira, who are the people? Is it the youth? Is it not the same people who are old? It's just unfortunate. Even when you have uh, some young ones among them, what is the percentage? The majority of the people who are dipping all their whole life into the cookie jar of the country, are they not the old people? And you are telling us that uh, they don't know what they are saying. It's so unfortunate. Anybody who say, you want to stay there? Okay, oh. the next thing that will hand over and give God. It has happened in this country, so this one is not going to be an exception. So, guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.